Good morning, everyone. Hopefully, everyone is having a great day. I'm not sure how I'm going to do these intros. I need to master this, but the time is 7.36. Woke up today at 6 a.m. Stared at the wall around for around 15 minutes, so I got up at 6.15. Did my bed, took a shower, did all that basic stuff that you don't need to know. Got a little bit of coffee, and I'm on my way to Starbucks to edit the first video before this one because think about this this is gonna be quite the lifestyle because while you're watching this video i'm either recording editing or planning the next video so this could be a hectic lifestyle i'm not gonna have time for not really anything but that's the beauty of it so what i have right here is a gingerbread starbucks coffee so basically what i do is i make coffee and then I go to Starbucks and drink my coffee there while I do some work. So I don't have to pay $5 every time I go to Starbucks. Of course, we're gonna get to that point. I'm hoping that everyone watching this video gets to the point where they make so much money that they can buy Starbucks every day and Chipotle. But yeah, I usually go to Walmart, buy that little big packet of um, Starbucks. Just, it's all grounded. You don't have to grind it yourself. You put it in, make it, and it's absolutely not the same oh my god bro is, is starbucks closed starbucks is closed holy shit <laughs> starbucks is closed wow okay i did not know that we're going back home back when they thought pink polos i hurt the ride before cam got the shit to pop the doors closed i felt like bad boy street team i couldn't work the locks that was quite the editing session so i think we started around 8 a.m because we went to starbucks it was closed, it was doing like some construction things, and then, yeah, we came back and we started doing a lot of work, so I did get the video finished, but we're gonna get ready to go to the gym, but before we need the gym, my body is screaming for some nutrients, especially protein and carbohydrates. So, basically, I'm gonna show you my seven minute quick pre-workout meal, which is a whole car in the bag whites. You can get these at Costco, they sell like six packs of them, and they're only like $11, so, it's very, very worth it. You also need two apples and a coffee machine to make coffee, of course. But if you don't like coffee, then you can switch it out for a pre-workout. Or, or if you're an absolute beast, then you can just go without caffeine, right? And you're done. You're literally done. I'm going to do that cool YouTube trick where YouTubers like lay their food, or they have their plate down here, and they drop their food and just cut up in pieces. Watch. All right, the apples are all cut up now. And now, as you can see, our eggs are done. We can pretty much pull out a plate and just put them on now. But before we do that, we are gonna get our coffee ready. And I wanna show you guys the coffee I was talking about in the car. So I get this gingerbread. I rolled it up because it's already running out. But this gingerbread Starbucks ground coffee thing that I buy from Walmart. It's not the same, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't even mention this, it's already 1 p.m. in the afternoon. So basically what this means is that I do intermittent fasting. And the reason why I do this is because it works better for me to maintain my weight or even if I want to lose weight or even gain weight, you know? If I start eating around in the morning, it's way easier for me to, you know, eat a lot of calories later in the day, like nighttime. That's when I get really hungry. And so it really helps when I save most of my calories during nighttime because I'm more of the person that just likes to eat big portions at a time versus small little portions throughout the day. Wait up. I've never been the type of person to eat small meals throughout the day because it never worked out for me. You know, I've tried it many times, but every time nighttime came, I ended up binging on my calories and I usually ate around 2,000 or 3,000 calories in only one sitting. And that isn't ideal when you're cutting or you're trying to, you know, keep a lean physique, right? Maybe when you're bulking, that is useful, but you know, it's very easy for me to bulk up. I think that's for, I'm talking for most people, but yeah, intermittent fasting has been helping me a ton. I've been doing it for seven years now, which is crazy to say. And you know, if you're, if you're the type of person that likes eating small meals throughout the day, then keep doing it. Do not, do not fix something that's not broken. Keep doing it. But if you're someone who's struggling with binge eating or like, you know, nighttime comes and you just end up eating all your calories and ending, and you just mess up your entire cut within one hour, Try it. Try it out for two weeks. Get used to it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Now let's go. Take them back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in that U-Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. Plus, I ain't had no phone. Very irresponsible of me. What a nasty little guy. 
Oh man, this is good. This is gonna take more than soap. This reminds me of that one episode of SpongeBob where he couldn't get that thing off the dish. And he had like that machine where he was just shooting that thing and it still wouldn't come off the dish. That's how I feel right now. What would you guys say? I think you actually did. I think I did actually really good. Just. Let's play lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the boss tonight. And you don't give a fuck what they all say, right? Awesome, the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. I ask, cause I'm not sure. Do anybody make real shit anymore? Bow in the presence of greatness. Cause right now, that has forsaken us. You should be honored by my lateness. That I would even show up to this fake shit. So go ahead, go nuts, go ape shit. Especially in my pastel on my pape shit. Act like you can't tell who made this new gospel. Homie, take six and take this. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. Cause I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be right now. Cause I can't get much stronger. Man, I've been waiting all night now. That's how long I've been on ya. Today really taught me that strength is much more mental than it is physical. Yesterday, I ate, I ate around 2,200 calories. I also walked 7 miles, which is about 15,000 steps. Now, I could have easily freaked out and just came into the gym thinking that I'm going to do bad and that I'm going to be very, very weak. But no, I came in thinking that it's time to build muscle and I'm going to lift some weight. Even though it wasn't the same numbers that I used to do when I was 195. At 175, I'm still doing amazing i'm still doing close numbers than i was when i was doing 195 the person that comes into the gym with a strong mindset will always build more muscle than the person that comes into the gym with a bad mindset now one person might come into the gym thinking i'm on a cut i under ate yesterday i did a little bit too much cardio yesterday it's time to waste away i'm gonna have a bad workout i'm gonna lose all my muscle and see my strength go down Obviously, they're going to lose all their strength thinking that way. While the other person comes in, okay, I'm on a cut. I under ate yesterday. I did a little bit too much cardio. This and this and this and this and that. I'm still going to have a good lift. I'm still going to have a good lift and I'm still going to build muscle. That person will build way more muscle than the first person. But I rate that workout and... 8 out of 10, I was pretty locked in, really locked in, pretty focused because I can't really use my phone since I'm recording with it. But we're going to go inside home. I'm going to probably get Panda Express or eat out because there's no way I'm getting my 15,000 steps if I end up cooking for two hours and record at the same time. I got to testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day you die, you go. So I just got done with my fourth day of daily journaling. I've been journaling now for four days and it's been... It's been pretty nice to do, you know, because if you think about it, most people keep their issues, problems, and struggles all in their head instead of writing them out. It's kind of like having a pair of headphones in your pocket and having them get all tangled up. But when you write out your problems and write out what you're going through, you're pretty much getting those headphones and untangling them and straightened, straightening them out. So when you journal, you're pretty much 80% done with the battle, all right? You see your problem, you see what you have to change, and what actions you need to do to get out of this problem. You could be going through a breakup. You can be going through a betrayal from a lifelong friend. Maybe you're going through abuse, trauma, whatever you're going through. If you write it out and you see the triggers that are triggering you to be stressed and depressed, you can take action on that and use it to your advantage. I don't know if it's just me, but I always found taking notes at school or just writing in general so relaxing. You know, on notes day, everybody would be complaining except me. I just love like just writing, just writing on a piece of paper and not thinking about anything, just writing things down. So when you do that on your own and do it on a journal, then it just feels nice. It's just relaxing, just a time by yourself, no music, just you and your thoughts. And yeah, it's my only fourth day in. Last time I journaled was actually when I was in third grade. I knew nothing about self-improvement or self-development, but I was still journaling when I was nine years old until my mom found my journal and started being all cutesy about it and like oh my god you're so cute look look at look at your writing and everything i was like what the fuck so i just threw that shit away i'll see you again maybe in two hours three hours when i eat something i'll show you what i eat after the gym 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Trust the sky. You gon' trust the sky, baby girl. Testify. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. So just got back home from the Panda Express dinner. I was looking at some of the footage I was filming today at the gym. I couldn't feel nothing but proud of myself because before back in the day, I used to be scared and afraid and shy to even speak to a camera like this. But now seeing that I can go into a public place with like 40 people and have 20 people staring at me and still film without feeling or having any anxiety or having any like shyness or like fear. And being able to do that with calmness and just focus on myself rather than the other people or other people's opinions. And I really hope every single person that is watching this video is able to achieve that. Being able to lock in on your goal and just have that tunnel vision where you have no distractions. You're not giving any value to other people's opinions. You don't give a fuck if someone says that the chances of making it are low. You're just locked in and just focusing on yourself. And that's something that I really, really advise that you just go in on have that skill learn that skill and use it to your ability and use it to your advantage to reach your goals and reach your desired life that you want you have to remember that most people are close-minded the only reason why they're trying to bring you down is because they're down themselves they're down in the rabbit hole of their life and they're trying to bring you down with them think about it successful people will never tell you that you're dreams are stupid or the chances are low or that you know you'll never make it you just gotta sit down and think about it there's one in a 400 trillion chance of being born and yet you're here watching this video dude you're here for a reason you're here to accomplish something you're not here to just live like everybody else get a normal nine to five job and just fucking live there until you're 90 years old and die unhappy you're here for a reason right so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.